Hello and welcome to another Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and did you know that the number one cause of premature ball screw failure is improper installation and alignment? Well, if you didn't, well, perhaps you just attempted to install your ball screw and you're already experiencing what? Binding, excessive motor torque, or a handful of other easy to notice issues. So today we're gonna show you how to install and align a ball screw assembly and profile rail. Now, when you do this right, it helps maximize the life of your system. But before we get started, I'm gonna take a second here. I'm gonna put on my PPE. You wanna make sure that you wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. It's so important, safety should be number one. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the mating components are designed correctly. And we do this by using geometric tolerancing for flatness, straightness, and perpendicularity. Now, typically ball screws are designed to operate under an axial load only. And what you might find is that improper installation imparts a radial or moment load upon the nut. Now this is fundamentally unsound and can reduce the life of the ball screw by 90% causing premature failure. Now, I don't know about you, but if anything is causing 90% premature failure, I would want to avoid it. Yeah. So to avoid this, we need to minimize that fight between the support structure and the ball screw. So when we install the profile rail, which takes the load weight, we're gonna make sure that the plate is flat, first of all, so everything is nice and flat here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the profile rail on the base against the reference edge. Then we're gonna bolt this down using the pre-drilled holes and make sure it's nice and level, but there's a certain way that you wanna do this. We're gonna start on this end right here, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back and forth, and I'm gonna to go to this end, then I'm gonna go this side, this side, this side and this way and work my way into the middle. I'll be right back. Okay, now we are nice and level. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the opposite rail and to make sure it's aligned with the other rail and perfectly parallel, we can do one of three things. Use an alignment jig, that's the recommended method and what we're gonna be using today. But we could also use the carriage as a temporary tool or we could use a dial indicator on a block. All right, so let's make sure that both profile rails are in, and then after that, we're gonna install the ball screw assembly. We're gonna put this over here. And, and as we do this, and we put these in, I'm gonna take the alignment tool, and I'm gonna put it in front of each screw back and forth. Because as the term indicates, it's gonna make sure that these are parallel. It aligns it all the way through. But we're gonna do the same way. So we'll go boom, 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 and as we do, we're gonna be moving the, uh, the alignment jig back and forth. So I'll do it over here, and then I will come over here and I'll do it on this screw, and then I'll move it in here, and then I'll move it in here, and so forth, all the way in. But we'll start right here. I'll get started, and I'll be back in just a minute. So as you saw, that slid through nice and easy, so that means that these should be pretty much parallel. Now next up, we're gonna install the ball screw assembly. And what we do is we're gonna float it in, which means we're gonna use the carriage to align the assembly. And we'll slide the carriage assembly to one end and then we'll tighten the support bolts. So we're gonna put this in first. We're gonna align these over here. Now there's a little method to our madness here. We wanna do one side first and we're gonna do this side first. And we're pretty much lined up on our holes right there. I'm feeling excited about that. That means we've done something good. So we'll screw all these in. We wanna make sure that you do this side first. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna slide this all the way to this end. Then we can put these two screws in and we'll be good to go. And then we make sure that it's operating smoothly and we stroke it back and forth. And now we have a properly aligned ball screw that's on its way to a long life of smooth, low friction performance. And just remember, you wanna periodically lubricate the ball screw and rails with grease. And that about does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out more videos on mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Could be an mihowto video or it could be another Tom's Toolbox. Thanks for watching today.